Now, the next question, according to modified Rotterdam criteria, what are the criteria for PCOS? And I told you PCOS is a favorite of the INICT uh, exam. And I also told you why. Uh, so uh, PCOS expected Thaitha question. And uh, we know Rotterdam criteria, according to this, they would be delayed menstruation. They would be clinical or biochemical hyperandrogenic features. So two and three is definitely there, plus the polycystic morphology, right? Obesity is not a criteria. Insulin resistance is not a criteria. Okay. The next question was, which of the following does not cause fetal bradycardia? Again, a very straightforward question. Abruption we know causes fetal distress. Fetal distress can present as fetal bradycardia. Fetal head compression causes, can cause fetal decelerations. It usually causes early decelerations, but the fetal heart does drop. Meconium aspiration, fetal distress, again, bradycardia. Maternal fever is going to cause tachycardia, and hence it's going to be uh, uh, not, I mean, maternal tachycardia will cause fetal tachycardia. Okay, so I'll just see what's all on the chat box also. Okay, we'll come to each question. Don't worry. Other questions also coming in between. If legal was mentioned, spirey, then definitely 18 years. Otherwise, also safely 18 years, you can easily mark. Next question, the uterine stimulant. This also has already discussed, right? We all know uh, dinoprostone, that is PGE2, is used for cervical ripening or induction of labor. It is not used for PPH. The other prostaglandins, mesoprostol and 15-methyl analog of PGF2-alpha. Sorry, this is PGF2-alpha. Carboprost is used. 